Okay, superintendent's report. Based on time, I will um, stick to some celebrations instead of going through my list. On the operations side, um, we have a couple of really great pieces of news. One of the things that we've been working on is to really minimize our findings when it comes to our quarterly financial reports. And so um, we just received our first quarter um, report and there were no findings of significant moderate or minor within USBE and this is really a great um, indicator of our overall improvements given that through that time period we went through 50 P card transactions which is a financial tra transaction and 80 finet payments um, and to do that without any findings is pretty remarkable now it doesn't mean that we won't have one in the future but usually there's some little technical thing and to be um, clear and clean what that was really exciting for all of us uh, we had, did have one finding from USDB about a purchasing issue that wasn't conducted by us, but it, um, all in all, we just felt like it was a, a really great report, so we wanted to celebrate that. Can I get a woo-woo? Woo-hoo! Thank you. There you go. Okay, just make sure you're all alive this time of day. Um, and then um, the other exciting news out of, um, per out of um, operations, rather, is uh, the loading of budgets. Oftentimes, we have our staff waiting and, and waiting to determine how to plan for the following year and this year our budgets are loaded uh, deputy jones i think a month and a half ahead almost two months ahead of time so our staff is really excited to be able to uh, plan with some knowledge of how they can best support our leas um, also we've we've been really trying to move the agency forward on the road to awesome as you know and um, we have engaged in some pretty intensive professional learning for um, not only our own leadership at the executive level, but throughout the agency. And uh, as WestEd is our regional service center and does this to us without cost, they have provided some amazing professional support for us through the University of Virginia Darden School of Business. So uh, we recently had a leadership training and really focused on um, just kind of pulling back and looking together about are we getting more efficient and effective and uh, getting towards our mission then if not what can we do to get there so we spent a day in really honest conversation and looking at some tools to help us move forward and thinking about how we uh, gain clarity on our core leadership functions and you know model the change that we expect to see in others and um, really getting real clarity understanding how we uh, project urgency to ensure we're getting the board's mission and vision so the takeaways from that day were um, to be more intentional about improving the culture here and that included friendliness and kindness not that we're walking around being grumpy and mean but we could be <laughs> more intentional in getting to know each other uh, and thinking about how we can create create a climate that um, really is conducive to people wanting to to come and be here and stay here um, yes we're going to sing that sure. daily um, the other thing that needed attention this was something that we shared with you uh, when I was first appointed and we had um, we commissioned a 360 to, to look at what we needed to improve on and one of those red flags you might remember was communication and it's sort of moved into yellow and sometimes orange but sometimes yellow it's something we can still improve on we've already found that by uh, putting uh, changing Tiffany Stanley's role into that of chief of staff and really focusing on internal communication that we're making great strides forward and it's it's about the systems and and systems thinking uh, we've had uh, Tiffany sit in on department meetings and interview staff and um, intervene in ways that has been really helpful and so we're moving the communications team to align more with Tiffany's work uh, and I, I just we already see some forward movement and there are things we can always do to be better about communications the uh, last but not least uh, we're really excited to come to you next month and talk about the strategic plan and we've had some really energizing conversations about that and um, staff I think is really anxious to have a, a road map forward and, and some things that they can really link their work to in a strategic way and so um, it's it's just been a really good and exciting month and we've got um, forward momentum on the road to awesome thanks okay. any questions for the superintendent okay 
let's just move on.